okay. Old guy's had a had a long day. He's worked really hard mining iron in the swamps, copper, and tin in the black forest, and then killing two of the mighty serpents of the sea. Now it's time to relax and just sip some delicious honey and serpent smelling serpent stew. Look at us in our bad serpent stew self. Welcome back, everybody, to Valheim. I'm an old guy, gaming, and in this episode, we are going to make our return voyage uh, back to our main base with a big old load of iron. Uh, so I have finished. Uh, I'm back in the Bone Mass Swamp, which is way down here, you know, to the south, uh, southwest. And I had three and a half more crypts to do, and I finished them out. So every crypt that's in this uh, swamp has been uh, mined out. Uh, so what I did was I, I brought all the parts uh, for the long ship uh, with me through the portal so I could just make the ship and only have to make the voyage back and not the voyage here. So this is uh, all of the iron that we that we pulled out of here. I had two pieces that I left over, and then we have almost a dozen full stacks. We have 11 full stacks plus five more plus, you know, two uh, refined iron that we've pulled out of the swamp here. Um, so yeah, that's a really good haul. That's probably all the iron we will need for the whole rest of this playthrough, I'm guessing. Um, am I going to be able to haul this? Yeah. Sometimes when you fill these carts too full, they won't move. But it looks like we're going to be able to do that this time. So we'll just bring the cart over to the shore here. I do have a... <laughs> yeah, it does seem a little bit heavy. I do have a, a workbench uh, set up there. It's actually been there for the last time that we can use to build the ship and then... Um, be on our way. So the main goal for this episode, besides getting back home with all this iron, is that we're also going to, um, we're going to see if we can kill some sea serpents too uh, along the way. Um, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to, I'm actually going to go this way. So we're going to go to the Northwest and try and uncover a little bit more territory. And then, you know, any sea serpents that we run into along the way, we will attempt to kill them. Uh, so to that end, I made almost a full stack of frost arrows because from what I understand, frost arrow arrows um, are what uh, is effective in killing sea serpents. Um, so, all right, let's go ahead and uh, get this out and get our ship put in the water. Where's the, yeah, I want to turn it this way. Okay, easy enough, man, easy enough. So, um, I'm going to go ahead. I could probably grab all of this. Well, not all of it, but a good amount of it. As long as I can get to the ladder, then I can get on board to put it in the hold. See how that works? Shouldn't be able to do that, but I can. So, since I can, I will. Um, I must have brought some extra wood with me, too. Uh, the other thing that we're going to do, too, is I'm going to, uh, once we get there, I'm going to stop off at the trader base, which is where, you know, we have our log cabin in the Black Forest. I'm going to also um, mine up some more iron, too. Uh, I, I'm sorry, not iron, but copper, because uh, we need we need some copper. So uh, we have four more stacks, or, you know, I can take that back to the portal. So we have up to five more stacks of copper that we, we can get. Um, you know, from our south base here uh, by the trader. Uh, might grab a little more tin. We still have a decent amount of tin. Uh, I don't know that if we need bronze for anything else. Let's look at something here really quick. So for crafting, uh, or, or furniture, I guess, is um, what I'm interested in. So we need, oh yeah, we need bronze nails for these things. Um, I don't I think a personal chest is probably when you can put a coat on, so that would really only apply to like a multiplayer situation. This needs, uh, this cons needs copper, and I want to make a bunch of those. Uh, the standing iron torch needs iron, of course. Oh, and the hanging um, brazier needs bronze, too. This needs bronze nails. So, yeah, probably, um, I'll probably grab a little more tin, too, but mostly copper. Um... And then, you know, once we do that, uh, my guess is here again, that's probably all the mining we're going to have to do for the whole rest of this playthrough. So, uh, you know what I should do before we leave? Let's run back through the portal. And um, I'm going to I'm gonna grab um, 
um, motor's power. And so I'll tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and cut the camera here, run back to the portal, get motor, motor's power, come back here, and get started on the voyage. And then when we run into our first sea serpent, I will bring you guys back at that point, and we will uh, attempt to kill our first sea serpent. So I'll see you guys back in a bit. Okay, here we go. We found our first serpent here. So let's slow down and get our bow out. And uh, shoot him, I guess. Oh, man, we got a good shot off there. Oh, yeah, these uh, frost arrows definitely do some damage, huh? Except for I need to be able to actually shoot him. So can you not hit him when he's, like, under the water? Oh, we hit him that time. He's almost dead. There we go. We got him. All right. Our first uh, sea serpent kill. Let's back up and get close to the stuff there. That wasn't hard at all. I tagged the boat once or twice, but nothing I'm worried about. Okay, let's grab it. Serpent meat, new material. We got five pieces of meat out of that. Nice. Oh, no, we got six pieces of meat. A slice of sea serpent smells fishy. Yeah, I'll bet it does. Whoops. Okay, cool. Yeah, so that's uh, this serpent here. I've seen him all along this coast and even up in, into here. So um, I was actually up further north and I didn't see him so I thought I'd come down south and sure enough he showed up okay so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go uh, to the trader base I'm gonna stop and mine up some copper to finish filling up our hold probably I might grab a little bit more uh, tin too we'll see I'm actually gonna go back to through the teleporter to the main base first and see how much tin I have and then we'll go around this corner and then I usually see a serpent right around in there too and we'll kill um, him too if we run into him so I will probably not see you guys again until we get to that second serpent because I'm just, you know, like I said, I'm just going to go mine some copper uh, first before we continue our voyage. Um, unless something, you know, film-worthy, camera-worthy, I guess I should say, happens before then. All right, I'll see you in a bit. All right, guys, um, we're at the other sea serpent location. He was, he was just like up on land there a second ago. Uh, he's right over by the shore. The weather is really bad right now. Uh, but let's see if we can ease over. If we can actually kill him really close to the shore, we might even be able to get his scales. But it, half of his body was just up on land. It was just, like, really weird. Um, all right, where are you at, dude? Yeah, he's right there. Okay. Um, I'm going to actually take the ship all the way to the shore. Okay, now, let's see if we can nail him from here. Get away from me, you stupid little neck. He's like right there. Oh, we got him. Nice. Oh, we got his trophy, too. Awesome. You little bastards. See, that might have been close enough to the shore to get his scales. In fact, I see him down there. It's really silly that... Uh, those sink to the bottom and we don't have the ability oh that is cool man check that out um you know we don't have the ability to go dive down and get them okay so we got this serpent meat um we still have a little bit of weight left oh we got it okay well we didn't get all of it um okay we might have to do the little dive down into the water thing trick to get all that um so let's do this let's Take the ship and move it out of the way a little bit. I'm so stoked that we got the head, man. That's awesome. If you, uh, if the RNG gives you a head like out in the deep water, does the head sink too or does it float? I wonder. If you guys know, let me know in the comments. Let's move this guy out of the way a little bit. Okay. Now, if we just do a jump like that. Okay, we got another one. How heavy are these? Uh, okay, they're heavy, but we should still be able to get it. 
Okay, we got four more, and I think that's all of them. There's a neck tail and a resin down there, but I don't care about that. Yeah, I think that's all of them. Awesome. Okay, so we got a total of nine scales. Um, I mean, I don't know how many you need for the shield. Shiny metal-like scale from a sea serpent. Very cool. Well, um, you know, this, uh, from what I understand, the sea serpents will respawn. In fact, one of my buds on the multiplayer server was saying, once you kill it, just wait. Um, and it can, it can come back fairly soon. Um, I wished I knew how many scales we need for the, for the shield, because if we need like 10, I would wait. <laughs> but, yeah, you know what, I might, I might actually wait here for like five minutes. Uh, and if it doesn't reappear in five minutes, I'm just going to go on and we, you know, we can always come back down here later. It's not that far. This is the main base here, so. Um, all right, cool. So, yeah, if, uh, if the serpent does happen to respawn in the next five minutes, I will, of course, bring you guys back. Otherwise, I'll just meet you back at the main base. Oh, and I wanted to show you, too, we do have a, we have a full load of metal. So, we got iron, copper, and uh, a little over two stacks of tin, as well as a little more copper and iron in my inventory. So, uh, this may very well be the, the rest of the metal we need that we'll ever need for the rest of this playthrough. Uh, I don't know. Maybe not. We'll see. But um, anyways, it's a nice little chunk of metal. Uh, all right, guys. I will either see you back here in about five minutes or back at the base. All right, guys. We made it safe and sound back home. The, uh, the serpent didn't uh, respawn. Um, so let's go um, up here and take a look and see uh, what it takes to make the serpent... Serpent Scale Shield. Oh, good. We only need eight. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so this has um, this has 90 block power compared to the black metal shield, which has 105. Oh, really? Um. So is this more just for fun, I guess? Movement speed is 10%. Black metal shield is five. Oh man, it has less. It has less blocking power and twice as much slowdown speed. And you can't parry with it, so it's kind of more like a tower shield. Well, why? That doesn't make sense. This is way more difficult to get than the black metal shield. Well, actually. <laughs> Black Metal Shield is kind of hard to get until you can handle the goblins, whereas you could potentially luck out and get this earlier. I don't know. That's I, think, I still think that's a little disappointing because this is such a rare item. It should be at least as good as the Black Metal Shield. But we'll make one anyway just for the hell of it. Um, not right at the moment, though, of course. Okay, so, oh boy, we got a lot of work to do. We have a lot of work to do. So, um... I'm going to start by, can we put, we put normal metal in here. Nope. We can only put black metal in there. Interesting. Okay. Um, so let's, let's go ahead and get started with the tin and the copper that I currently have in my inventory. Um, that one's kind of a weird to get at. You have to get back here. Now, things are really tight in here. Um, but you know, we'll, we'll make it work. We'll make it work. All right, well, um, let's go take a look at making serpent stew. What do we need for that? We have a total of 12 pieces of serpent meat because we, we killed two serpents today. Um, what did I do with the... Yeah, here we go. Okay. Uh, that serpent head is really cool, though, man. Um, just for the hell of it, let's... Uh, item stand, take item. Let's put the... Oh, let's put the serpent head up here and just take a look at it really quick. Oh my goodness, that thing's huge. <laughs> it's even bigger than the troll head. I love it. Oh man, that is so freaking awesome. Okay, 
Well, this isn't. It's not going to stay here uh, permanently. We'll we'll put it in the grand hall once the grand hall's made. But oh man, that is cool. Okay, so let's have the serpent watch us while we make serpent stew from his meat. Um, that kind of sounded weird, didn't it? Okay. <laughs> so what do we need for um that? So serpent stew is wait. Do we not? No serpents? Oh, you know what? I think we have to cook the meat first. Okay. We have to cook it first. All right, so let's go out here. Oh, my goodness, that stuff's huge. Well, you know, sea serpent and all. Okay. So as soon as we cook this and then get the cooked version of it, then it should unlock the serpent stew for us. And I don't know what else it needs besides... Uh, the serpent meat itself. I'm really stoked that we got the head, though. That is awesome. It's going to look good in our hull. That's probably, I'm guessing, that's probably the biggest head in the game, isn't it? Well, unless the last boss's head is, is ginormous, I don't know. So this stuff probably takes about the same amount of time to cook as, uh, as, um, uh, lox meat does. Lox meat takes about 50 seconds or so to cook. Okay. And there we go. Serpent stew recipe. Alright, so we'll let those other two cook up. And are these guys done? Yes, they are. That would suck, man, if you, if you burned serpent stew. Uh, meat, so I can't re I can't forget that I have two more pieces out there. Okay, serpent stew. What does it require? Oh, that's it. Two honey and one mushroom. Oh man, not a problem, not a problem at all. But you know what? I'm gonna stand out here and wait for these to finish because if I don't, I'm gonna forget. <laughs> it's almost guaranteed. Okay, so those are done. So if we just ate this straight up, it would give us 70 health and 40 stamina for 2,000 seconds. Compared to lox meat, which is 70 health and 40 stamina for 2,000 seconds. So it's exactly the same as lox meat. Okay, cool. All right, let's grab some shroomadooms and some honey and make ourselves a bunch of serpent stew. Whoops. Um, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Let's put that head back up there. Okay, you stay there. We've got to zoom in a little bit here. Tasty, tasty. Smells of honey and serpent. Okay. Honey and serpent. So I think this has exact same stats as Lox Pie does. Um... Wait a minute, didn't we have 12 pieces of meat? Oh, I was going to say, what happened to that other piece of meat? Sitting there lying in the dirt, doggone it. All right, serpent stew. So this has 80 health and 80 stamina for 2,400 seconds. 80 health, 80 stamina for 2,400 seconds. Let's have our first thing. Oh, here, we got we got to sit down in our throne here. Okay, old guy's had a... Had a long day. He's worked really hard mining iron in the swamps, copper, and tin in the black forest. And then killing two of the mighty serpents of the sea. Now it's time to relax and just sip some delicious honey and serpent smelling serpent stew. Look at us in our bad serpent stew self. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. Um, all right, you guys. Well, oh, I got four more... Uh, pieces of fish. I just found it from a big fish on the side of the the shore from a storm. Uh, so let's make two more fish tacos. Yeah, I gotta be careful about that because it... Um, wait, what are we missing? Fish wraps. Oh, we gotta cook the fish. Right, of course. Um, we'll make four, uh, or two more rather, fish wraps. I keep calling them fish tacos, but fish wraps, kind of the same thing. Um, all right, let me look at something here.
Okay. I need to go actually do some more fishing too. There we go. And fish wraps. 90 stamina. It's good stuff. Inventory's full. Let's put those in there. Yeah, I I just I'm not making bread, man. It's I think I just think it's so expensive. I mean, not not unless we get to a point where we have a massive stockpile of barley, which we don't at this point. Um, we're gonna hold off on the bread. Okay, so uh, serpent stew. I'll keep one of those with me, and we still have another full stack of uh, blood pudding. When I'm working around the base, I try and you, you know use more basic meat just because. We don't really need all the health and stamina. Well, the stamina is nice, but we don't need all the health from the good food while we're working around the base. Except for there have been a couple of times when I've fallen off a high place and just about, <laughs> just about killed myself doing it. So, um, But it's just more about, you know, conserving stuff. So, Whoa. Big old lag spike. Look at that head, man. That is awesome. Love it. Love it. Okay, so guys, um, what I'm gonna do now is, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna haul all the metal out of the boat and up into here, and I think this is gonna be probably gonna put the raw ore in here at least for now because it's not gonna stay. I mean, we're gonna process all of it, uh, so you know I'm not gonna permanently have raw ore, um, and this is also probably gonna be mostly our our coal chest as well. Uh, but I'm going to haul all the, all the ore up here, get it processed, and then once I'm done with that, I'll bring you back, and we're going to um, we're gonna we're gonna set up some lighting and do a little bit of of deco, more mostly in here. I don't want to do a whole lot of stuff in here yet because we still have a lot of building left to do. Um, so yeah, I will be back in a bit, and we'll go from there. All right, guys, we are back. Uh, it's actually several day in game days later. Uh, from the last time I left you, I've just been a very busy old guy uh, working on the crafting room. Um, so we're almost done. I just have a few more chests to put up and some signs to put up, and then we're pretty much finished uh, with the crafting room itself. Um, so uh, I don't think I talked specifically about this in uh, in the last segment, uh, but as you can see, I have chests uh, put up along here, and we're gonna go, we're gonna go ahead and sign those, and then I'm gonna put a couple more chests along there. Um, so that's done, and we're we're getting close uh, to getting all our metal smelted. So uh, let's grab 20 more of these. I've got all the copper and all the tin smelted, so we're just working on iron now. And we've got uh, quite a bit already. Whoop. Save leg? Save leg? No, just lag leg. Sometimes I get save leg, sometimes I get lag leg. Um, so let's... Uh, Top that off there and put the wood in there. Okay, so um, let's see. We're going to... I wanted to put some lighting up in here. Um, well, actually, let's finish our, 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 our final two chests. Uh, so we've got all our metal in here, so we're going to need four pieces of iron. And we're going to need some uh, fine wood. I don't remember how many, so let's just grab a stack of that. And we're going to need a little bit of normal wood so we can build a ladder to get up high enough to set to the chests. All right, so let's go ahead and um, go here, grab a ladder, and we'll just put the ladder right there. Okay, and then furniture. Okay, and we're going to put a chest... Right about here. I want to. Well, here. Let's do. Let's do this one first. I just want to try and space them out so they're more or less even. They don't have to be perfect, but close enough. Okay, that's reasonably lined up, I'd say. 
All right, now, um, next thing is I want to put some lighting in here. And I'm thinking uh, of doing the, um, uh, the sconces. So we need copper and resin and normal wood for that. So let's grab uh, some copper here. We can put the fine wood back in here. <coughs> Excuse me. My goodness. <laughs> uh, I went out to the uh, the prairie or the plains. And um, there's there's like a little forest of birch here. And I pretty much logged almost all of these trees here to get uh, all the fine wood that I have. And then I went back to our uh, our trader base here in the Black Forest and mined up some more core wood. I don't have like full boxes of it, um, but, you know, I got uh, uh, several stacks of, of both of those. Actually, quite a few stacks of that. Um, so let's, uh, I think we have, oh, we need resin too. Yeah, so let's grab some resin out of here. We'll just grab... A stack of that and then go and we're gonna put the the sconce uh, we're gonna set it up here just kind of hopefully can we get it in the center of that all right hold on a sec we gotta we gotta lighten up a bit because I'm over encumbered we don't need to be carrying that much copper with us my goodness what am I thinking what was I thinking can we move now yeah okay so if we jump up here, I had a really hard time getting this tool shelf centered on here. I wonder if we're going to have the same issue with this. Yeah, because it keeps wanting to pop to the side. Even if I hold shift, it doesn't, it doesn't really help. Now, what we could try and do, in fact, now that I think about it, this is how I had to get the, the tool rack on there. Let's take that core wood piece off of there. The only downside to this is it's going to glitch... Yeah, it's going to glitch into the core wood pull when we put it back. I don't like that. So, can we do something like this? See, that'll hold it out a little bit. Okay, and then if we put this up here... It's still gonna it's still gonna clip in, but maybe. Yeah, hmm. I don't know. If we remove this, does that destroy the sconce? Oh no, it doesn't. Ew. Okay. Well, uh, what what is it gonna look like if we just put this back up? I gotta get it to. You can just barely see the the base of the sconce there. You know, I I think I can probably live with that. I think I can probably live with that. Okay, so that gives us light on that end of the building now. And right up in the middle. And then do the same thing uh, here. Okay, now let's turn um, our helmet light off for a second. It's still kind of, these actually don't give off as much light as I thought they would. Hmm. Okay, what about... Okay, then we can remove that and we can put... Uh, the core wood piece back in place. Which I think was like that. Yeah, that works. Okay. That works. So, um, it's... Save, save like. So it's still... It's still a little dark in here, but I mean, it's not terrible. I suppose... We could maybe try and squeeze a sconce in there. And maybe one around here, too. So let's put that right about in the center. And then can we do the same thing over here? Uh, I know we have the option of doing a, you know, like a floor torch too, but 
I kind of want to keep the floor clear. This was the only arrangement I could really think of that worked reasonably well to get all of the stuff in. I'm, I'm, I'm really irritated. Well, not really irritated, but slightly irritated, we'll say, that I had to put these two here, there, because they just, they will not fit in between these other things. The game forces you, you know, they have a really big hitbox, in other words. They have a much larger hitbox than they should. Um, so it's really weird because the bellows and the cooler have to be very, very close to the forge. But that these guys, um, you know, these guys ha then have to be a certain distance away. I don't know why the devs did that because it just makes it harder for us to fit everything, especially when you're in a, you know, more enclosed space. So I figure, you know, if this was a, a real world situation, you know, we'd need a little bit of room for our grinding wheel, a little bit of room for our, our anvils. Um, this one, we just work at it from here. And it does make sense for these two things to be close to the forge. I get it. But, you know, balance between realism and practical gameplay, I guess, is what it really boils down to. So if you're wondering why those are sticking out, that's why. Uh, the crafting table, you know, all I just like, as you can see, I put all along the center. I ended up putting this out here. Let's, um, I don't think, if I remember right, if we try and put it over here. See, it's, it's got to be so damn far away. It still reaches the crafting table, but it's right in the middle of the walkway if we put it there. I should be able to just put it right there, but, you know, it's not going to let me do it. I could put it here, but then it's sort of kind of in the way of the bench. Um, this is already narrow enough as it is back through here. Ideally, I'd like to put it next to the ads, but it doesn't, you know, it doesn't want to fit there either. So I suppose we could put it right. Uh, we could put it there. If we didn't want it actually out in the hall, which I kind of don't. Yeah, I, I think I'll do that. I'll just leave it there. All right. So um, the only thing left really to do in here, we got the lighting uh, in place. And, and actually now it looks pretty good. Of course, it's not super dark out at the moment, but I think the lighting looks pretty decent in here now. Um, if we did put a standing torch, just let's just look at that possibility. I'd, uh, we, we would do... An iron torch. I mean, we could try the hanging brazier. But that's going to be in here, too. That doesn't... There's nothing to say it can't be in both places, though, I suppose, right? Uh, let's just... Let's look at both of those things and see which one, ultimately, I like better. So, for the floor... The iron floor stand, we need two iron. Okay, so that would go here. And I, I guess, I guess if we keep it all the way up against the tanning rack, see that provides quite a bit of light. That looks really good, actually. And it's not actually in the way either. So you know what? I think we're going to just run with this. Um, I'm not going to put one up there because I don't think we need to now. That that thing really does light things up quite nicely. And then you know we'll save the. The hanging bra uh, braziers for the, the big hall, because I think they'll look cool. Kind of almost like a chandelier kind of idea. All right, neat. So we got the, the lighting done. Um, I was considering, you know, covering up this, but I think we have enough of an overhang that we don't really need to. And it's going to be, you know, it's better to have the ventilation. So I think I'm going to just leave that open the way that it is. Uh, so really the last thing to do now is just work on some signs for our storage. Um, so, let's see. For signs, we're going to need wood. And um, we'll get our sign straightened up. And it should just attach right to the front of the shelf there. And then we just want to kind of make sure it's more or less centered. It doesn't have to be perfectly centered, but it needs to be centered enough so that it looks good. Okay. Um, and I have the sign backwards. Yay me. I was going to say, what? Yeah, we ha you have to have the a little ellipsis showing. All right. Can't get quite in the center there. Yeah, I think that looks good. Okay, so this is just wood. Now, here again, I don't think we can attach a sign. Oh, we could 
I guess we could put it on the floor. That's a little weird. All right. Yeah, I guess that's what we'll do. Is that backwards again? Why is it backwards again? Oh, no, it's not. I just couldn't couldn't see it. Okay, so stone for both of those chests. And I don't know, can we get this back in here? We're not going to be able to see it very well is, is the thing. We can put it... Uh, yeah, that's not perfectly lined up, but... What the hell, it'll work. Okay. And then this one here is... Let's move it over that way a little bit. This is R. Okay, so this is going to be... Um, we're going to call this textiles. Except for I called it test tiles. All right, so that's going to be... Um, Linen thread and flax specifically. Oh, I know what I was going to do. Um, we're going to move the bone items to s somewhere else. Uh, one of these chests can be bones. That's resin. Uh, yeah, we'll make this bones. Okay. Um, this one is um, everything to do with arrows. Um, archery arrows. Well, not archery so much, but just actual arrows itself. So let's put this one here. Are we... Oh. Having a problem with the... I, gotta be, I have to be pointing at the... Um, the shelving. Because uh, it th thought I was trying to attach it to the artisan table. So we're just going to call this arrows. This one is all of our magic-based items. So that's what's in there. So we're going to call this... Magical... Uh, you know what? Screw it. Magical items. Some of it's more resources than items, but you could say those are items too. Cool. All right. Um, this is hide. Okay, so that's hide. This is... What is this? Oh, this is like... Going to be tools and parts. I'm probably not going to... Store my armor sets in there. I'll probably store the armor sets in the other room. That This whole area over here is... The plan for it is to be basically like the kitchen. Um, that's its main goal. I'm not sure if I'm going to... You know, continue to keep my my bedroom in here. You know, let's let's go ahead and rest while we're here, um, or if I'm going to do something else with the bedroom, I haven't decided yet. But it, but for sure, this is going to be the kitchen, so it's going to be the food area, um, and we might end up keeping the armor sets. You know, the older armor sets in here too. I haven't made that decision because this room here is all about crafting, um, so everything that we store in here is really going to be more for crafting. Uh, all right, so. We're just going to call this um, tools and maybe tools and parts because we have nails and stuff too in here. Okay. Um, this is metal. So this is where all of our, our metal is. And this is core wood. This is fine wood. And this is ancient bark. All right. 
Um, this chest that's kind of behind the thing is is actually going to be money items, though I keep most of my money at the at the trader base for obvious reasons. I don't think we're going to be able to get a sign in there. Even if we could, it, it's not going to look good, so we're not going to put a sign on there. Um, that's okay, because since that's our money chest, we don't want to advertise that to would-be thieves anyways. Okay, this is resin. And let's see, this is bones. We decided to make this the bones chest. And this guy, we haven't assigned to anything as of yet. Okay, cool. All right, you guys, I think we are pretty much finished with our crafting hall. I'm pretty happy with how it all came together. Um, you know, all things said and done. It, it is a little tight, but that's okay. Um, you know, we, I, I think I did a, a reasonably good job of maximizing the space and getting, you know, everything in here. We got lots and lots of storage, you know, with the big chests, a place for everything, everything in its place. And I'm feeling pretty good about it. Feeling pretty good about it. This, all of this building stuff I'm doing is more just, just for fun and to enjoy the building of the game as much as it is, as it is for practical reasons, because, you know, we're nearing the end of the game. So, um, if I, you know, if. If and when I, I do another play, well, no, when I do another playthrough, I will probably do, you know, bit the, the main build sooner just so I can actually use it. Because, you know, I've just been messing, using this building the whole time and constantly having no room for shit. And, you know, I, I kind of wished in hindsight that I would have started this a little bit earlier. You know, one, once you get iron, you know, then you can really start doing the big builds. But you can't do... You're, you're kind of limited until you get to iron, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So the next next playthrough I do this, as soon as I get to iron, um, I'm going to probably start the big build at that point, you know, to get our base set up. But anyway, it's fun. I enjoy it. And, you know, we're not completely done yet. We still have a few more episodes to go yet. But I just, yeah, it's just fun to do this and, and take advantage of the building in the game and enjoy it. So hope you guys think this looks cool as well. All right, what's coming up next? So um, obviously we have the haul to do. Uh, I've been thinking about what to do over here. We might, I might actually build a corral over here and mess around a little bit with, you know, some taming, tame some boars, maybe go try and tame some wolves. Again, not so much because we need to, but just because, it, you know, just to experience that part of the game. Because, you know, it would be nice in a, in a real situation to have, um, you know, and have some critters on our farm too, right? And um, if we're going to try and min-max... We really want to try and find a two-star boar, but, you know, if we're just doing it for the hell of it, I don't know that that's going to matter a whole lot. Um, but that would be the ideal scenario. So, I don't know. I might look for a two-star boar if, if I can find one that's not super far away. But, yeah, I'm thinking about a corral over here uh, for some critters. And then um, probably because this is the food area, I'm going to set up two windmills. Oh, we've got some barley here, too. Uh, I'm going to set up two windmills. I don't think we need more than that. And maybe have a little, you know, carrot and turnip garden over here too, even though, you know, that stuff currently at least is growing over in our plains base. And then, you know, we have the whole kitchen area to do. Uh, but I probably won't work on this now because uh, I think we'll work on the hall next. Because this is functional. It's not perfect, but it is functional. Whereas, you know, we needed to get this done to get it you know, functional. So, um, so yeah, the hall is probably going to be the next thing we're going to refocus on. Oh, there was one other thing I was going to tell you. Here's what I'm thinking about. I don't know for sure if we're going to do it, but I was thinking about putting the portals all along the back end of this wall down below and, and then building kind of almost like a stage, if you will, over it and then putting the throne up above it. And then we would have some doorways to go back here and then this would be our portal room. So that, that's kind of what I was thinking about maybe doing with that. Not, not sure for sure if we're going to do that, but that's kind of what's in my mind. So, all right, you guys. Well, that is it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.